We are very excited to have you here in town. On Saturday, you're coming through to Portland with the I Love the 90s tour. And I know y'all have been on a tour already for months. So how has it been so far? It's It's been busy. Uh, you know, so far the, the crowds have been great. Uh, everyone's having a good time, you know, everyone seems to be just doing their thing, loving the 90s music. Uh, you know, we're just having a good time out there with the uh, other acts. Uh, we're out there with, uh, you know, Vanilla Ice and Tone Loke, Rob Bass, uh, Young MC, uh, a few other, Mark McGrath, a few other, other artists. Um, everyone just, we're just doing good, man. I'm just, you know, just happy to be out there. Yes, well, we're happy to have you out there. What a solid crew. And as you just mentioned, you have so many other awesome artists on the road with you as well. Tell me who has been the most fun to be on the road with thus far. You know, they all have something great about them. Yeah. You know, all fun to hang with. Um, you know, they're funny. They're all funny. Coolio is is hilarious. Um, we just, I don't know, we just sometimes, you know, because we're all in the van, you know, headed to the venue yes. and, and just sometimes people say funny things. They're just good people. They're just really great people to be with. Good vibes. That makes the world a difference, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's take it back to a great year. 1991 is the year Color Me Bad's debut single, I Wanna Sex You Up, came out to the world. Did you know, Mark, that this song was gonna blow up the way it did? No, no, no one. <laughs> Um, I know, I knew that I liked the song. I've always liked the song. I, I liked the demo of the song, uh, but no one knew it was going to take off the way it did. Um, it, it just came from out of nowhere. It's like, as they say, like, what is it? Uh, like catching lightning in a bottle, you know? Uh, um, everyone can say, yeah, we knew it was going to blow up. We didn't know. No one really knew. And it just happened and it was just took off. It was like uh, taking off like a roller coaster, you know, just nonstop. We were just, you know, just constantly moving, doing shows, doing TV interviews. It was a madhouse there for a minute. It was it was wild. Absolutely life changing. I'm sure. I can't even imagine. Totally, yeah. It's but it's you know it's it's what we always dreamed. Uh, we didn't realize it was going to happen like that. Uh, we thought it was going to be something that was going to take a little time to build, and then eventually we'll get to that point. Uh, but it 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 hit pretty hard and pretty fast, and all of a sudden we were going all over the world and just seeing new places that we've never seen before, uh, tasting new foods, meet new people. It was amazing. That's really so well. Awesome. And you're, it's still putting you out here on the road and getting to perform it for everyone who loves to see it. So that is just a beautiful thing in itself. No doubt. I mean, after 31 years, you know, um, we still get to sing those songs. It's pretty amazing. And I'm very thankful. I love to travel. So that's what makes it great also. Um, but sometimes, you know, too much traveling can get to you. But you know, I just like seeing new places, new things, um, and of course, performing those songs because when we do those songs, it really makes people, it takes people to a different place. They sing, they dance, they're having a great time. And of course, with everything that has happened in our world recently, it's good to give somebody good vibes, you know? 1, so, yeah, no doubt. Completely, Mark. Back in the early 90s, when that song came out, Color Me Bad were really leaders in what I think you guys would call hip hop doo wop. I love that phrase. Yeah. Do you think there are any artists today who are in that lane, or do you think there's a lack of that now? Uh, I think there's a lack of it. Mm -hmm. uh, people aren't taking the vocals as serious. Uh, there's not a lot of harmonies going on. Uh, I will give a lot of uh, credit to a Bruno Mars who yes. does who does it really well, and he's probably one of the best out there. Um, but yeah, I wish there was a little bit more of that vibe. You know, that was the hip hop doo wop uh, phrase that we had coined. You know, back in the day, and uh, that's what we were about. It was basically just taking old samples, putting harmonies with a, a hip hop beat to it. And uh, that's what we did. And, you know, Bruno Mars has made it work. So, uh, you know, it's still out there. It, it can still be done. Absolutely. With that being said, what advice might you give to other artists who dream of having the type of longevity that Color Me Bad has had? 
Uh, you know, just be real. Just be mm-hmm. true to yourself. Um, go out there, have fun, continue to create. Don't be afraid of doing something different because that's what makes it work sometimes. Uh, if you try to sound like everyone else, it, you know, you might not have a chance to, to go where you want to go. Uh, it's good to be different. You know, God made us all different. So why not put out different music? Yes. <laughs> um, it's, it's it, you know, just try to be yourself and, and don't be afraid to try new things. Absolutely. Color Me Bad obviously has done that. You guys have so many accomplishments from Grammy nominations. You guest starred on Beverly Hills 90210, which is so cool. Is there a particular accomplishment in your career that you're most proud of? Um. Can you see me still? Yeah. Uh, um, you know, just those things that you said, being able to be nominated for two Grammys, winning an American Music Award, Soul Train Awards, mm-hmm. uh, Smash Hit Awards overseas, uh, selling 12 million uh, records. Um, you know, I mean, what more can you ask? You know, I think the good thing about it now is that I get to still perform those songs and still see the smile on people's faces and that's what makes it all worth it so it's it's uh it's about having good good times and good vibes that's all we need mark honestly <laughs> color me bad also has a great presence on social media i love watching the tiktoks that you guys have been doing and yeah. since you all kind of started out at a time where social media didn't exist how do you think it has changed the industry Oh my gosh, it completely has changed the industry. Um, you know, now you don't have to have a record label mm-hmm. to, to put out music like you had to, uh, like you needed one before. Um, it's a good thing. It also could be a bad thing. I think it's a lot tougher to get your stuff out there in a sense. Um, but, you know, with numbers, I mean, the more music you put out, the, the, the better chance you're going to be able to catch a record that people are all going to like. Um, it's it's a different game. I mean, I mean the the trouble that we would have gotten into, man, if we had social media back then, <laughs> I tell you. But you kind of lose your privacy a little bit. Um, but it's just the way the world is now today with, it, with everything. Um, it can be good. It's got its pros and it's got its cons. But um, you know, overall, I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm still learning how to how to use it, and I'm still having fun. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I'm just living through it and trying to make the best of it. But um, if I could have it, which way I liked it better back in the day, where yeah. there was a, still a little bit more control of, of of what we had going on, the music that we were putting out, and the record love lab, record labels backing it, mm-hmm. like like I think they should, and also record record companies developing artists now a record label won't sign an artist unless that artist has a million followers you know so it's not even necessarily about the talent anymore it's just about the quick hit quick quick money whatever but there's no more developing artists and i i think that's a uh, bad thing because there are a lot of people out there that i think they're extremely talented that just needs a little help you know, that don't, that don't necessarily have all the followers like some, some people do. So I don't know. Like I said, if, if I could have it either way, I would like to go back to the, the old way. I think technology is great in a lot of ways, but I think it, it, it has hurt us a little bit. Yeah, totally. I think you nailed it when you said just takes your privacy away because yeah. even <laughs> if you're out and about not filming yourself, someone else could be and put it out there and you, you're really never alone anymore, right? No doubt, man. I mean, I've already got people spying on me. I'm, never mind. Oh, no, Mark! <laughs> we won't go there. That's a different, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we I'm, can't be having that. I'm, you, I'm out working in a, a friend of mine's yard, and people, I mean, they're just, mm-hmm. it's unbelievable. How, but like I said, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> like you said, people can catch you at any time, at any moment wherever you are so whether you look good or bad it's it's gonna go on the whole world is gonna see it absolutely <laughs> man we'll be safe out there mark <laughs> people are crazy out there <laughs> what is great about color me bad is not only do you perform the classics on this tour but you had a new track come out in may california dreaming what inspired this new song you know that 
I'm glad you brought that up. Um, that song, uh, I don't know, you know, a, um, a DJ of mine from California had sent me this track and asked me if I could write to it. And I have to admit, when I get these tracks, they're never like that great. But this particular track hit me really hard. And I was able to just come up with the medley. Uh, I, I love romance. I still love romance and love songs, which I think that our world has forgotten about. Uh, but I had to bring that you know, to the forefront with this song. It was the Marvin Gaye spirit that got into me. <laughs> I don't know. Marvin Gaye Motown spirit. I I act. I had such a great time with the song. We had a good time filming the video. So yeah, I mean, I'm glad you were California Dreaming. It's out there right now, all music platforms. Go check it out. Absolutely, I love it. It's a great vibey summer song. Definitely brings you to California. Yeah. Of course, I gotta ask Mark. Does this mean there's more new music on the way from you all? You know, that's, uh, that's, yes, absolutely. And don't be surprised if you hear different genres that, you know, we might be coming out with. I mean, everybody knows Color Me Bad for the hip hop, you know, doo-wop style music. Uh, but, um, you know, we like, we like other, other sounds too that we might pull out. So it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to see what we do. Oh, that's amazing. I can't wait to see what you do, Mark. And this Saturday, everyone in Portland is going to see you live at the Cross Insurance Arena. So let's talk about this I Love the 90s tour a little bit. It's been going since March, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been going since March, yeah. Amazing. What has been the craziest tour stop thus far? The craziest? I don't know if there's been any. Uh, you know what? We're having a lot of fun doing the uh, the baseball stadiums uh, after the major league games. We we yeah. we get to uh, you know perform out there on the baseball field. Oh. That's pretty cool, you know. That's so cool. I don't know. A lot of great places we performed at. A lot of nice amphitheaters, uh, arenas. Uh, I really like the outdoor amphitheaters a lot, though. People really seem to have a good time in those. So yeah. Okay. So everyone going out on Saturday, what can they expect out of Color Me Bad's performance? Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna take you back to the '90s, you know. We're gonna take you back to when you were like 16, 17 years old. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna take you back to high school. How about that? I love it. I love. It. I mean, simpler times. That's what we all thirst for, right? To be brought back to those times in our life. They were good times, you know. What can you say? Can Great you good times. Um, you know, what, what can you say? Absolutely. We're all about it. You guys, as you mentioned, 31 years, you've been a group, Color Me Bad, and you still are out here raking in over a million monthly listeners on Spotify, which such a huge accomplishment. It just shows how dedicated your fans really are. So with that being said, if you could say anything to those fans who have been holding on for 30 plus years, what would you tell them? I, I would tell them like I do every every night we perform thank you so much for the love the support over all these years um you know the group may have a different a little different look now but uh we still bring the music we still bring the 90s sound and uh we're always going to be color me bad you know so uh, thank you again for uh, for supporting us and coming out and go check out uh California Dreaming if you get a chance I think you'd like it it, it, it has that color me bad sound so one thousand percent mark thank you so much for chatting with me today i got one final question for you last but not least here in maine our state motto is the way life should be so i want to know according to you what is the way life should be uh the way life should be should be easy <laughs> fun hard work always hard work get you places you know yes. and always show love to your brother <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is perfect. Couldn't have said it better myself, Mark. Thank you again, and we cannot wait to see you on Saturday for the I Love the 90s tour. Have a blast while you're here in Portland. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you guys. Thank Amazing. You. Take care, Mark.